the economic collapse news. There's major troubles with the banks. There's major trouble in the economic sector. But if you look at Wall Street, if you look at the stock market, they keep going up and up and up. Why? Because debt is the new crack. Debt is the new crack. And everyone's hooked and they're getting higher and higher as the Fed prints money, guys. But before we get into the topic today, I want to talk about, I hear all the time in many different countries, they always blame the illegal immigrants. It doesn't matter if they're best, it doesn't have to be America, it could be Canada, it could be Great Britain, it could be France. They're always blaming the immigrants. They're saying, you know, uh, it's the immigrants that are taking our jobs. In, in America, I hear that all the time. You know, it's the immigrants taking our jobs. But the truth of the fact is, guys, it's the corporations taking the jobs overseas for bigger profits that's taking the jobs. It's the corporations taking the jobs overseas from manufacturing of cars, from manufacturing of steel, from manufacturing of bicycles to computers to your favorite gadget in your hand. Okay, is manufacturers, corporations manufacturing other places besides their home country? Is the big corporations want to squeeze the last drop out of the stone? Okay, and in results, they don't care about their workers. They don't care about their community. They don't care about where they come from. And that's what the problem is, that we're sitting in a society where big corporations like GMC, like Fours, like too big to fail banks, too big to fail corporations like Apple, so many of these guys, you know, they're taking jobs away from America and the politicians and the people that are not thinking too wisely or not thinking too deep. They're just saying, hey, it's those guys fault. And this has been happening from the beginning of time, guys. That's what happened with Hitler. They said, hey, it's the Jews fault because our economy's out. It's those guys taking their jobs. And the same, the same story, a different chapter in history is repeating all over again, not, on, not only in America, but everywhere, guys, illegal immigrants. And, and I made this and I posted it on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, uh, you might want to think about joining me. It's Instagram forward slash my real estate dojo. This one's really good, too, guys. I posted it on, on Instagram on Facebook. It says it's not immigrants killing opportunities in, in the USA. It's the Fed printing money that's killing your opportunities. And that's so true. I, guys, I, I made this up. And many people don't even realize is the cost of living is getting so much more expensive. How, you know, they have to use credit cards all the time to be able to survive, to pay for accidental, to, to pay for X, Y, or Z, or how they have to put to put everything everything on debt. You know, they wouldn't have a house. They wouldn't have a college degree. They wouldn't have the clothes, they wouldn't have the vacations, they wouldn't have the cars, they wouldn't have nothing if businesses, if they if, if they own a business, thanks to debt. You know, I, I could almost guarantee that America's economy will stop 90% if there was no debt, if there was no credit cards, no line of credit, it was, there will be 90% less investors out there because most investors don't understand the creative real estate investing strategies that I apply they go to the auction. They go get home equity loans. They use their house as an ATM. They go get a line of credit. They go and get into debt um, using their own name, using their own money. Um, through If it's hard money, if it's private money, whatever it is, like to a bank. I, should, I guess that's not a private. It's uh, corporation money, central bankers money, fake money, fiat money. And... The economy will stop, dude, because if people couldn't get into debt, the economy would literally stop. GMCs, Paylesses, all these corporations, majority of them, I can't say all, because there are some that are debt-free, like Apple, but majority of them will just stop because they're just making it. They're paying for their employees from getting from a banker, okay? Everything's on credit, and so our whole system, whole economy is is corrupt, is rigged, the stock market is... People don't even realize that the banks are not liquid, right? I mean, they, they keep saying it, but that they're not – the TV, the media is not putting the attention on that. Why are they not liquid? Where is their money going through? 
have everyone's savings, everyone's 401, everyone's um, money market CDs. Why are they not liquid, right? Why is the Fed pumping billions of dollars every day for the past days and weeks, guys? Okay. But on the other hand, the stock market looks like it's going up and this looks like it's going up and it looks like it's going up and it looks like it's going up. So that, that, that's, that's, you know, that's why I say everyone's high off debt because that is the new crack. Because instead of shit crashing, the shit is going up, dude. The shit is going on. And, and, and it's really hard to, you know, understand it because it's a rigged game. You know, it's hard to understand it. So. If you're thinking and you're looking at what's going on around the world, you know, inflation all around the world. We have people in France marching. We have people in um, Argentina marching. We have people all over from Latin America, Iraq. People can't pay their bills. They, they, they want better opportunity to live. Um, but, but the economy is good, guys. The economy is good. That's what the media says. But if you look at the news today, you're starting to see more and more outlets coming up with more sadder stories like this company is not making the expectations this company just didn't lost this much money this company is going bankrupt this company is closing down you're starting to see that more and more so if you look back maybe six months ago to a year only about 10 to 25 percent of the stories were what i call truth stories or sad stories because they're the truth 70 percent was very positive today we're, we're at the 50% margin where you see 50% of the stories are sad stories and saying, hey, we're reality stories saying, hey, shit is about the buzz. And the other 50 saying, hey, everything is great, guys. So what does that mean? Well, that means it's a great opportunity upon us, not financial advice, but that's why I posted on my um, private community. If you're not part of it, guys, you should join. It's totally for free. Look, look below. Uh, on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you are, or podcast, wherever you are, and there'll be a link. Join our community solely for free. Uh, you get the talk, you get motivation, um, you get news alerts, things that I don't have time to do on YouTube about. Okay, it's totally for free. You can join us right now. But in Glip, guys, sorry guys, I, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, well, talk, I was talking about opportunities. Let, let me get some tea real quick. Man, I love some tea, man, guys. I love some tea. Uh, before we go a little bit further, before I forget, guys, uh, profit sharing, guys, profit sharing. Um, I'm doing a flash sell, 76 bucks, guys. This is a $3,000 a month coaching. You're getting it for 76 bucks. There's no sales pitch. My only task, my only mission is to help you do a deal. Get to help you put money into your pocket, get you on my YouTube channel so you, you can give people your test of testimonial get people your your experience get people your successes so you can motivate someone else and th then we can take that person do the same thing and they can motivate someone else and someone else and that's that's why i get up all my stuff to go homeless is to help you guys because that makes me so much more happier than accumulation of stuff but i can help you accumulate you know what i mean because you you got to come up to your own realizations okay so but what I'm trying to tell you is for 76 bucks a month, that's not even like $19 a week, dude. Okay. Uh, 76 bucks a month. You, you get to join us four times a month. That's every week guys on coaching on how to find motivated sellers for free. No money in marketing. You don't have to do cold calling. You don't have to do letters. You don't do any of this stuff. Other people tell you to do. I, I use only imagination and creativity and I'll let you have my systems. Okay, you can download it and apply it. And I hope you all hold your hand and answer all your questions to guess what? Cash those checks. Because whenever you cash checks, I'm gonna split it with you 50 50 because I helped you out for coaching. So you don't need the upfront money like the other places require you five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand to learn about the business. I will help you in my profit sharing coaching and we can split the profits right now guys there's there's a limited amount of seats available there's only 50 to start now and i already sold quite a few so don't wait forever okay 76 bucks this is a three thousand dollar coaching we meet every saturday from 10 to 11 it does not matter if you're in california if you're in florida you're in chicago you're in 
New York, you're in Texas, you're in Colorado, you're in Oklahoma. It does not matter. You're in Kansas. Why? Because I use the newest technology and we meet right through your computer, guys, from the comfort of wherever you are. If you're home, your office, your car, it doesn't matter, guys and gals. We meet Saturdays and we talk about nothing but cool, advanced, beginner tips and tricks that no one else talks about, like how to talk to a seller, how to negotiate. We do live calls with sellers. We do live negotiation with sellers. Um, and you learn to really dive in and find these sellers and start talking to them and give offers, guys. I mean, you give offers. That, that's the whole goal. You, you don't want to just sit there and learn and learn and learn. The goal is to go get a check. And unlike anything else out there, or they give you a bunch of paperwork or video training or, you know, just buses or seminars. Well, they're gone after they get your money, right? But I'm going to be here week after week to help you answer your questions. It doesn't get any better than that because when you do deals, that's when I get paid. So guess what? My interests and your interests are aligned. The other guys, their interests are not aligned. They just want that 5000 that 15000 that $25,000 for the course, and that's it, right? With me... I'm charging you 76 bucks. You know, an average house cleaner and maid charges $65 per person, okay, an hour. So I'm going to charge you $19 per meeting, which is an hour. So I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I can't do, I can't even eat, take my family out for 19 bucks, guys. But the money is made in the deals. So what I'm trying to tell you is my interest and your interest are lined up for 76 bucks. That doesn't even include my cell phone bill. I couldn't pay with that. But I'm gambling that I can help you if you want to help yourself out. And we can do deals in your backyard because, in my opinion, the economic collapse is here. And and the real estate is already slowing down. And there's a lot of motivated sellers out there. because Why? Because I have students working the streets, finding deals for free all over America. So that's why I have my ears on the streets. And and, and I want to help you because I want to do deals in your city. And whenever you cash checks, whenever you do a deal, that's when you're going to pay me big money. Because whenever you get paid big money, I get paid. That's a fair thing. 